What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of AI Buzz. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today, we're going to be talking about machine learning books. It's kind of funny since I spend so much time on my computer that I actually turn to books pretty frequently to learn additional concepts in this field. Sometimes a good old-fashioned textbook really can be best. This varies from person to person, but most of the time I don't usually get a whole lot from online lectures about machine learning. What's difficult is to match where the video starts and where my current knowledge is. Usually I find myself already knowing something or having absolutely no clue what the lecturer is talking about. So striking that balance is, is a little bit difficult with video lectures. The exact same is true with books. However, to me, it's easier to kind of scan through and find that right starting place rather than videos trying to scrub through and find the right starting point. Anyways, long-winded explanation to explain why books are one of my favorite media to learn machine learning. All right, so we're going to cover my top three picks for machine learning books in 2020. These are definitely very different books. They have their own target audience, very unique. So I have a particular order in which I'm going to present them. And the order really is where I would start if I were just getting involved with the field today. Each of these books is actually pretty challenging in its own way, but it starts with more application focused and goes more towards theory. All right, so the first book is Approaching Almost Any Machine Learning Problem by Abhishek Thakur. And this book is really great for anyone just starting out in the field or people who have actually been involved in the field for a long time. Probably one of the main reasons that you're going to be getting this book is because Abhishek is an absolute legend within the Kegel community. He was the first quadruple grandmaster in Kegel. So this means he not only knows how to train models extremely well, but he's a great communicator too. And don't be fooled, it's extremely difficult to place that well in Kaggle competitions. So have no doubt he is an expert at applying machine learning to real world business problems that are put forth by some of the, the biggest companies around. This book focuses a lot on application and is gonna include a lot of code for you to try. I think this is definitely my recommendation if you're just starting out. If you're anything like me, you don't wanna start learning with a dense, theoretical textbook. That's just not going to get you excited or, or fired up about the field. Even though my graduate school research used some data science methods, I wasn't actually formally introduced to the topic and didn't get excited about it until I saw the Titanic data set on Kaggle. And ever since that happened, I've pretty much been obsessed. Actually, doing things and getting your hands dirty gets you excited in this field. That's one of the awesome things about it. You want to spark enough curiosity and questions that leave you challenged but not discouraged. And this is exactly what I think you're gonna get out of Abhishek's book. It's gonna get you excited and leave you wanting more, which may lead you into buying some of the other books I'm gonna cover next. The next book that I'd recommend that I would say digs a little more into the theory of machine learning is the 100 page machine learning book. My copy's a little beat up and that's because I use it very frequently as a reference guide. This book is great, mostly because it's, it's very approachable and short and concise. Since you actually believe that you can read this book, it's not a 500 page textbook, it's 100 pages. You can actually read this thing cover to cover. And it's coming from Andre Barkov, who's a great teacher in the field of machine learning. This is gonna be a great reference book for years to come if you want a quick, concise definition of a certain model or a certain operation that you want to perform in the field. It's especially great for people like technical project managers who have that technical acumen and can understand it pretty well, but don't want to spend hours on end diving into the weeds. I would think of this book as sort of the best technical bang for your buck. Sure, you can go into more depth, but you'll also be sinking a lot more time into it and definitely reading a lot more pages of material. The technical depth is not exhaustive since that's really not the point of the book. If you want something like that, you're going to want to take a look at the next book that I have for you. And that book is Mathematics for Machine Learning by Roth, Faisal, and Ong. This is the book to go to if you want to get into the weeds. If you want to delve into the subject and really understand it from its core, buy this book and fight through it. 
This is one of the best put together books of the details of machine learning models that I've seen. Don't get me wrong, like I said, be prepared to put some blood, sweat, and tears into this, but you're going to be rewarded if you can do that. Highly recommend this book to anyone wanting to pursue a career in this field, since it's really imperative that you understand the math at a deep level to apply these models. So those are my top three book picks, but I have one more for you. It's kind of a surprise, and this is not so much a book that's going to really further your understanding of machine learning on a technical level at least, but it's going to give you insight into what the cutting edge of AI really is, and that is AI Superpowers by Kai-Fu Lee. Lee gives a really good overview of the current state of the art and presents it in a very readable fashion and talks a lot about the ongoing race for AI supremacy. He also provokes a lot of great questions about the future of AI, which is really fun to think about. And he even throws in a pretty touching personal story about what makes humans human. I would highly recommend this book to anyone who wants a break from reading about technical things and still wants to read something AI related, but doesn't want to be doing equations or anything like that. Definitely recommend this one. Check it out. Well, that's about all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of AI Buzz. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like as well as a comment down below. Also consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.